when people ask, I compare it to if you could float in a bubble, I would compare it to that. It's kind of just floating along and steering along and going where you want to go. This is Jerry Hissom. And for the past 16 years, he's been floating over cities and sporting events in a Goodyear blimp. I've got about uh, 6,000 hours in the airship. Hissom is one of five blimp pilots at Goodyear's Akron, Ohio facility. And most days, he's cruising at 1,500 feet in the air. We fly five days a week back here at home. And when we're out on the road, we fly six, seven day weeks. These days, Hissom spends a lot of time in the air. But before he could fly the airship, he first had to undergo federally mandated blimp training, a nearly year-long process of training flights with an FAA-certified instructor. And while Hissom had previous experience flying airplanes, he says flying a blimp is very different. The airship has four fins on it in the back, and the two are vertical and two are horizontal. And the, the vertical fins are called the rudder, rudders. They're the movable surface. And with my feet moving back and forth, I flip those rudders left to right, and that steers us left to right like how a, a rudder of a boat kind of works. Uh, the wheel on my side here control the horizontal surfaces, and those are called elevators. And when I do, when I roll this wheel, it pitches those elevators either up or down, which uh, uh, pitches the bag up or down, and that makes us climb or descend. It's a combination between air, you know, flying an airplane and a helicopter, but it's big, it's 193 feet long, so you gotta remember when you're landing it, you have 100 feet in front of you and 100 feet behind you. Goodyear currently flies three blimps, and between them they cover much of the U.S. But there are a few places that never get to see Hissom's blimp. Places, you know, near the Rockies and stuff, we don't fly there. It's too high of an elevation. Jason Sanchez, CNN Money, Akron, Ohio. Mm -hmm.